Good evening, folks. This is Deb and Dave, and this is a short take. Uh, look, the fight to protect American democracy starts Tuesday of next week. We have elections coming up in several states, Ohio for one, Virginia for another, and we need to win at all levels of government. We need to remove the GOP from office as much as possible. And we have to remove MAGA completely. No survivors. They must all go to the dustbin of history. So I'm going to turn this over to Dave. All right. So uh, in our sources, we will have a political article. And it's from Stephen Shepard. Uh, this is from November 4th. So very, very recent. Just listing some of the more important races. Ken Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir is a Democratic candidate. Uh, Mississippi Governor, can we get rid of Tate Reeves? That'd be great. Brandon Presley is running against him. Deb mentioned Ohio. This is codifying abortion rights in their state constitution. So for all of you in Ohio, ladies, ladies, and men, by the way, do the right thing and teach these guys that you're paying attention. And just because it's not a presidential election, you're going to come out and vote for this thing and, and codify abortion rights. Because if you don't, there is there is a law getting ready. The trigger law is currently, you know, dormant, but it'll take effect if you don't do something. And, and folks, I'm just going to say this: the people who got this on the ballot worked hard to get enough signatures to get this on the ballot. So do something with it, okay? Uh, Pennsylvania State Supreme Court, Daniel McCaffrey, is the Democratic candidate. Then we have several state Senate races in Virginia, the 31st, Russett Perry. Uh, Shabon Donovan is the Republican in the 16th. Sorry, Schuler Val Van Valkenburg is the Democratic candidate in the 16th district. So we have Susanna Gibson in the 57th. And uh, we have New Jersey State Senate, 3rd District, John Bers Berzicelli. Remember the uh, the election the uh, to uh, replace David Cicilline? That's Gabe Amo in Rhode Island. Now that's a house race. And... To all of you New Yorkers out there, listen to me. <laughs> Number one, stop complaining about Anthony DeVolda and get ready to vote him out next year. Okay, there was a reason that the Democrats voted to keep Anthony DeVolda slash George Santos in because it would mess with due process. And you didn't want to do that. And Number two, way, yeah. You set that precedent and they can do the same thing to you. Absolutely. Okay. Number two, Suffolk County, New York executive. We're going to be talking about in the long show how the budget is used as a weapon with the Republican Party. They know that a lot of people depend on funds one way or another and they they use it so we have dave cologne who is the democrat doesn't raise as much money as ed, as ed romaine but let's see what we can do to oust ed romaine ed romaine <laughs> is known pretty well in uh in long island circles um there is a debate here if you really want to watch it before Tuesday just to get a general idea. But also, if if you live in on Long Island long enough, um, you'll remember 
when a former aide alleged a cover-up by a Suffolk County candidate, which was Ed Romaine, uh, when this uh, this person alleged that Romaine stole from coin-operated copying machines in his county agency in, in the eight in the eighties, the yeah in the eighties. $80,000 from coin-operated copying machines. And this was, in <laughs> 2003 was when the New York Times article came out. Can we just realize this is, this is a seat and this is a job where you're managing the money of Suffolk County, Long Island. It's important. So can we can we flush this guy out and and vote somebody in that doesn't have a history of this? I left a uh, uh, working families party guide for the New York uh, for you, the New York voters. There are some important New York vote votes in there. I'm tired of hearing people complain uh, in New York. Let's get out there and 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 vote David Colon in, and stop complaining about corruption in Long Island politics. I mean, we'll never com stop complaining about it, but let's do something about it for once. Budget's important, guys. We'll be talking about it in the uh, in the other show. Okay, so that's where we are. Um, the fight for democracy starts right now, right now. Okay. It is, <laughs> there is nothing more important on the ballot. Okay. Nothing more important on the ballot. Nothing that's going on in the Middle East. Sorry, folks. I'm just going to say this. Nothing going on in the Middle East trumps what's going on here in the United States. Nothing. Okay. We will be able to help absolutely nobody if this country falls into fascism, you need to understand that. There is absolutely nothing in your political horizon that is more important than electing a Democratic House, Senate, and President in 2024. I don't give a fuck what anyone is saying on social media, okay? None of this is solvable under fascism, okay? None of it. And that's where we are, and I'm shutting this off, and we're going to do the big show. Talk to you soon.